Do you know that the water that we have today is the same water that's been around for millions of years? It's the same water that the dinosaurs drank? <laughs> it's the same water that Noah had in the flood? And it's the same water that Jesus was baptized in. We're all connected through the waters of baptism. And so let's remind Jared of that as he gets ready to go. You're all going to get the splash of the okay? Come <laughs> here, Jared. That'd be a little much. But you know, it's very effective just like this. <laughs> or to make the sign of the cross on someone's head look better. It's a good thing there's only three. It's quite the next thing. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Jared, as you leave our community of faith, we wish to bid you farewell. A reading from Isaiah. Thus says the Lord who created you, O Jacob, who formed you, O Israel. Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. Through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel. In holy baptism, our Lord Jesus Christ received you and made a member of his church. When you came to this community, we rejoiced with you in the mission we share in God. In this community, you have come to know and share God's loving purpose for you and for all creation. God bless you, dear Redeemer, and God has blessed us through you. Let us pray. Eternal God, we give you thanks for Jared and for the time we shared with him. As he has been a blessing to us, now send him forth to be a blessing for others, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Let us remind Jared of the promise of his baptism. Jared, <laughs> you are a beloved child of God, and wherever you go, you will be a blessing. Thank you for blessing us as long as you